Also tonight, new at 6, the state recently announced upcoming inspections for vape and tobacco sellers across Green and Webster counties. This comes at the same time that Springfield business owners are working to become more compliant with Tobacco 21. Tobacco 21 is meaningless if it's not implemented correctly. Our Nigel McDonald is here tonight with more on uh, how, how to explain the, how the health department is making sure that those local businesses are following this new law. Well, David, the Springfield Green County Health Department says the grace period for local businesses to become Tobacco 21 compliant will soon end. Now, this set, health officials say this comes after six months spent educating and informing the community about Tobacco 21. After the first of the year, we will be doing compliance checks to make sure that retailers are not selling to anyone who is younger than 21 those tobacco products or vaping products. Wall says the health department is serious about enforcing the city's Tobacco 21 ordinance. That includes uh, pipes, that includes vaping um, materials, and that includes um, any kind of cartridge for vape, whether that actually includes tobacco or not. She says the health department allowed for a grace period due to the significant impact of the new law. We wanted to give people plenty enough time to really understand both what is required with the ordinance, but also our motivations behind this ordinance, why we care about vaping and smoking with these younger populations. Wall says tobacco can be especially harmful to the adolescent brain. We all know the effects of smoking. We know the health dangers of that. And so this was an, a, an effort to really help curb that youth smoking. An effort the FDA participates in regularly by administering tobacco compliance checks at retailers. This smoker's outlet received two FDA compliance check violations within a 12 month period. The FDA is seeking a civil penalty in the amount of $285 from this establishment. This Eagle Stop and this Brown Derby were among local businesses that received warning letters from the FDA this year. I did reach out to the owners of these businesses. However, they all declined to make a comment. Now, as a reminder, health officials will begin checking businesses in Springfield starting January 1st. Again, that is when the grace period will end for those businesses. Now,